Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we'll continue work with the sketching in Revit. Uh, all the projects what I will use today in my tutorial, it's I have done like long time ago. I have more than one project, as you can see only here I have like four, four, four projects, but also we will load now here one more project. All this project you will able to download below this video, you will find the link. I just combine it in one folder, so you don't need going around to my channel and finding uh, on the each video. So you will find below this video all the projects what I have done in uh, not all tutorials, but most of the old tutorials. But you don't forget like this video, comment and share because if you will help me, if you will help my, me by this way, I will give you more things like completed project and other, for example, some complicated family. So who those who already start? So let's get start. Today we, I, as I said, we will use some sketch view to, for example, to our Photoshop. But before we should load here the some family, some new building. So to load it, I will go to the my site plan. Here is the my site plan, and I will load one building more. I think if you are quite long on my channel, you remember this building. It's calling like tiny building. So today I will load the. the this is tiny building, so this is tiny house inside to this project and we will place it somewhere here because this actually this space exactly for this building as you can see it here building and let's load it inside to this project. Let's go back to the site. Now we should go to the manage. Let's find the manage and here you will find manage the links. As you can see all the buildings it's by link. So let's load here the one more building, tiny house, as you can see. I will use the original points, we will change it later on. Now, as you can see, Revit saying, well, I cannot link because the loaded in another open document. As you can see, I open it on the, this view, so I should close this my project. Let's close it and let's open it again. I mean, let's add our link again. Let's add it now just few seconds it here, but it's not on the position. Of course, it's not in the position because we not placed on the position. As you can see here, we have the terrain, but we don't need terrain because we have our own terrain on this project. So what we can do here? Actually, pretty easy. Let's go to 3D and I will show you everything on the 3D. Here is our project. You cannot see it because we should unswitch our section box. Let's unswitch it section box and you will see now all our projects here. So select your document, I mean the link file, select it. And now we should change of that. So let's go to the visibility graphics, just double click UV or we can go to the manage view, not manage visibility graphics. And here you will go for the Revit files. This is Revit links. Here you will find tiny house. This is one. Let's go by the host view. And now we should go to the first, we should say this custom one and model. It's also should be custom. We don't need topography from this model. So let's unswitch off the topography. It's here. Unswitch it. Let's say, okay, let's say, okay. And now you not will see the topography. So now doesn't matter which topography on this file because we not will use it at all. Let's go back to the side view and let's place our building. Now we can see here topography. Yes, this is because uh, we should make it on the each view where you know, we don't want to see it. But uh, here I'm not using any view template and of course we can see our, our model here. It's okay. So what we can do for that thing? We will do actually the same thing. So one more time, just go to the view. Here you will find uh, the Revit links. And you can just unswitch it by category. So let's unswitch it. This is so simplest way how you can hide, for example, the some elements what you don't want to see or what you don't want to use. For example, you can unswitch grid lines if you need or some another type of the object. And let's place it our building somewhere here. As you can see, here is our building. Let's go to 3D. Is it okay? Is it should be looks okay? Yeah, it should look okay. So this is how I want, but as you can see, height it's not, it's not as I want. Let's use the align key. Where is my align? Uh, and let's align it to this building. I want to align this building to this building. Okay, like this. And I want to copy this building to the other side. So let's copy it. 
yes you are able to copy uh, as you can see if you have the similar buildings sometimes we have the similar buildings because this is a life uh, not all the buildings unique if you have the similar buildings you can for example just copy it you no need to redo it you no need to do anything so that's why sometimes better if you are using for example the some different files for example it's now not look like nicely right so first i want to align it and after that we will do one thing sometimes the building it's not totally same as you can see sometimes it's mirrored and we will mirror it let's mirror it i want a mirror let's mirror it like this of course when you mirror it it's copying and now i will place my building on this side let's place it and now yeah this is what i want let's align it i need a line align to this side and align on this side okay as you can see now it's mirrored so what we're gonna do next let's go to the north view i hope i will see the my building there yes i can see it and let's place my building a bit deeper so the my first level is here let's place it on the basement floor I hope it's everything all right. Let's go on 3D. 3D. Yes, everything all right, as you can see. How now to fix this problem? Actually, pretty easy. First, we want to save our project. Let's save our project. And one, what we can see here, actually, now everything okay, but it's not, it's not like that. Don't believe what you can see on the preview screen. Go to 3D, just click on this uh, small house, and what you will see, you will see here the problem. Here is our panel link. You just will select it and delete it. And for example, we can just continue these panels here. This will be much better. And if you want, you just can do the same thing on the other side. So done. Just save your file. Uh, let's close it. Let's close it everything. Let's go back to the our Revit file. As you can see here, is our building is lost, but actually not. If you will go to the manage links, you will find here is your tiny building. So just reload it, few seconds, say OK, and here is your building, as you can see, without any problem. Uh, as you can see, uh, we get our building done, but now it's time to make some nice renders or nice some views. Let's go to the site, let's go to the view. Here you will find the camera, camera view, and let's find the nice view. Let's say I want to get some view like this. Why not? Let's make it. Yeah, we get now a, a, like everything is trash, as you can see. Let's resize the crop. I will say it's 200 millimeter by 300 millimeter. You can do any any type of you want. If you want to make it like 4 400, do 400. If you want to make the 500, even I will change the height of that. I will say this is 500. For example, for the Instagram uh, stories, why not? I want to post it in Instagram stories and do like, for example, like this. Yeah, I like it. Now let's call this uh, view for Instagram. Why not? Instagram. Why not? So this is our view for the Instagram and let's prepare it. I will go to the visibility graphics and first what I want to see on the my view. I don't want to see the lines. Where is the lines? Here is the lines. Let's apply it. You doesn't see any difference, but it is. We have the difference. After that, I want to want to see the uh, scope box. Let's find the scope box. I cannot find it. Maybe it's on the here. Let's I'll try to find it here. Yeah, it's here. Scope box. Scope box. This is green line actually. Let's apply it. And also, I want to see the levels. I don't see now right now the levels, but just let's unswitch it because maybe we will get in the. Uh, yeah, we cannot see the levels. Nice. And I don't want to see any grids. Let's apply. Now I think everything alright. So we want to see only what we want to see. After that, let's I will change the my type of the graphics. So let's go to the graphics. And now let's apply some shadows, cast shadows and ambient light. Let's say OK. Now our view, as you can see, becoming really different. So I will change the hidden la hidden line from the. Uh, let's make it const constraint. Let's apply it. Uh, now it looks not so nice as I want. Uh, let's m disincrease the shadow first. I want to just a bit increase the light and ambient light. You not will see any difference, but you will see right now. So first I want to make my all my model the white color. I don't want to use any uh, additional things. Let's go to the visibility graphics and the easiest way just expand all, select all and project in surface patterns, select it 
and say you want to run a seat or the solid fill and you want to see it white one don't do it exactly white just a bit more gray just like this like this why not let's say okay let's say okay and again okay and you will see the situation like that so this is much better because i like the sketching one and this is much better but some of them it's still green as you can see this is color coming from the mm, i don't know it's coming from the outside i think but this is so terrible and i think i know what is that actually this is our topography let's go to the view revit links we will find here our tiny house, custom one, model, uh, here again the custom, and let's unswitch off our topography. And finally, we not will see this is anymore. But we get also not bad view as you can see with this green color. Okay, so we did it. Let's go back to the, mm, to the material, manage material, and here you will find the glass. So that's why it's important to manage all your materials in, for example, the naming. Because if you don't have the naming, you will get a lot of different materials and you not will find your materials at all. So this is my material 1, this is my material 2, as you can see, and both of them they have the, this blue color. Okay, so, but I cannot see the, my blue color on this one. Now it's time to render it, but actually before we render I will go to the side view and I wanna make sure my camera is far enough. Let's make it like this, so we can see here the plan, here we can see my 3D view. Uh, let's select my 3D view and you will see now here the camera. Let's select my camera and as you can see it's far clipping. Let's increase it and here you will see difference, it's a bit no, more far. If you will make it more near you will see it's clipping but i want to make it as far as i want like this for example and now it's not bad actually so let's go back to the 3d view and here is under my 3d view and now we are ready to render it but again i get my topography let's say will hide it fast uh, custom one uh, model and topography and switch off let's say okay 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 and everything all right so now we can render how we can do that you can go to the file here you will go to the export here you will find image image and here is our settings we will use the current view because our current view this is what exactly i want after that i will use the zoom like 60 uh, 600 percent but it's only up to you if you don't have enough power of your pc this will be too much and the raster quality i will use quality i will also also use the 600 i will use ti uh, tif file because this is much uh, better resolution we can get Okay, so let's go back to the our file. This is call up one and we will export it here. So let's make it renders zero, uh, zero one renders. And let's save it here. Let's save it. It will, it will, it will takes time. So here we are. Let's go to the call up, double click on that. And here, as you can see our file. As you can see, this is our file, what we get with the nice resolution. So, and now we can use the Photoshop to place everything what we want to get nice more result than we get right now. So next time we will use the Photoshop to get more nice and uh, our render better. It not will be realistic one, we will just get the nice thing and this is will be looks like we want. So if you really interesting it, it will be soon. Uh, just don't forget about the likes, share this video and comments. Thank you guys and don't forget all the models you will find below this video. Thank you and see you soon.